I too am here, it's, and I'm a bit perplexed about this legislation, really, as to what to do, because I try to grapple with it. My staff in the office, Cathy especially, and my daughter, Councillor Maureen, and all the, the girls that are there are dealing with, with a, a terrible situation on a daily basis. They're just walking in, we know where to go, notice the quit letters, and you, you name it. And yet, successive governments have failed to grapple with this scheme. But regulation is never the best way to take a business and an employer and his employees. You're better off if you can have goodwill and you have a two-way street. And over 80% of the landlords, I think about 86% of them, are ordinary small landlords. And the vast 99.9% of them are decent people. They're not in it for quick book or for gain. Some of them inherited a house. Some of them maybe bought a house as a kind of a pension plan. And they do their best. But uh, having this, uh, th then you have the, a, a tiny minority of terrible bad tenants as well. And there need to be a room. And we had one of them in my own county recently. It took, in my own town, it took two years. And the house was only demolished. It took, on a daily basis, it took two years. I couldn't understand how any human beings would do such damage to a house. And they came in and sat in front of me after being through the courts and after being evicted and got into hospital. And thankfully, they've been rehoused again now. But they need to be rehabilitated. I mean, you, you, if you're not able to mind the house and look after it and I don't want to and damage it and dig up the cables and dig up the, 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 the bile pipes and God knows what and try to blame the landlord. It's a horrible case. And there are many cases like that. So eventually, the court and all found in favour. So there had to be. And there was, then there was head of steam by people, groups uh, trying to have a protest at this family being evicted, but you must understand the situation the landlords find themselves in. And they're not business people, many of them, they're ordinary decent people, no fuss. And they have, as Deputy Conway Con Walsh said, a good relationship with tenants and don't want to put up, uh, put up the, the, the rent. But the properties are being damaged and other things like that. So, Minister, you now sent Cree Keenan uh, at the uh, plough match. You were out plowing, you better off your state plowing, because you, know, you love to announce these schemes. And you have no consultation with the, with the, with the departments or the county councils, none. None, since. And, and uh, so now that's a grand scheme going to create so many places. So many people were delighted because they have um, buildings that they wanted to upgrade and do open, maybe semi derelict and everything. But sure, as I said, the people are waiting since a long time for it, but now this, they're waiting since the plan match, which is well over a month ago and it started this month. So you're great at announcing these schemes. And no follow up, no follow through, no knock on to, to, down to the county councils. Then the divides that are out there. I'm not being brought back, so I know we're talking about uh, tendencies this evening, so I'm perplexed, as I said, about this legislation, but it's a good or a bad thing. I would prefer that there could be amicable, amicable relations between the tenant and uh, the, the, the renter. I hate calling them landlords because they're not, they're accidental or, 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 or require the property, as I said earlier. So we need to be understanding here. And the blunt force of legislation, because this is going to come to a crescendo again in, in a couple of months' time. And what are we going to do then? And then it's going to go on for another three months extension. So there lies the, the real problem. So we need to be, as I said, um, encouraging and have more uh, educational programs for both landlords and tenants and, and understanding. And people don't say, look, I know it would be an awful thing to be evicted, but if you go through a court process and everything is, is stacked against you, uh, sorry, found against you, um, look, the landlord has to have, uh, the, the renter has to have rights as well and has to have respect for his property. So it's a two-way street. I agree also that some students are exploited and, you know, with different foreign language people coming in here. And what kind of a sense is that going to be <coughs> to us as a nation of the thousand welcome? Cade made a fault with the and the hair and, and this kind of uh, bad message going back. So there's a lot of upper um, starule to be done here, Minister, and I think we just don't seem to be grappling with it. And announcing schemes one after the other or succession and not dealing with them is not the answer. Thank, Thank you. you.